Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. Today I am here at the Maryland Zoo and I have the Sigma FPL and the 150 to 600 lens that they sent me to test out. So these are on loan. I'm going to be trying them out, see how they perform, and I'll just talk you through some of the things that I like and dislike about the camera and then we'll look at some images. So let's head on into the zoo and take some photos. All right, let me tell you about some of the good and the bad that I like about this camera. And we'll start off with the bad because there are a couple of things that I don't like that are kind of annoying, but let's get them all out of the way quickly. So one of the things that I don't like about this camera, first of all, is that I didn't seem to get a uh, charger with it or a travel charger or a separate charger. Instead, I had to charge the batteries in the camera and it takes a little while and that means I can't charge a separate battery at once you know at the same time so i can't charge a battery in the camera and then a second battery and i can't shoot while i'm charging a separate battery so that's a little bit of a problem also um the sensor is exposed so when i take the lens off the sensor is just exposed there there is no sort of cover or anything over the sensor so you always have to worry about changing lenses in the field because you might actually get some dust or something on that sensor. So it would be really nice if there was uh, if there was basically, um, you know, like a shutter that dropped down or something and covered up that sensor when you take the lens off. Now, the other things that I don't like about the camera are if you have the viewfinder and you wanna charge your camera, the batteries in your camera, well, you have to take the viewfinder off. There is a USB-C port on there, but it doesn't seem to pass through. Instead, I've had to take the viewfinder off so I can actually charge the, uh, the batteries and that kind of stinks and it's inconvenient. Now, the last thing is as well, the autofocusing seems to be a little bit slow. It's just sort of slow. Um, it's relatively accurate, but it's not the fastest. But if you're doing stuff like, you know, landscapes, portraits, zoo stuff like I'm doing now, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. I wouldn't probably do this, uh, use the camera if you're shooting fast action like motorsports or maybe uh you know maybe you're doing some wildlife birding or something but portrait stuff zoo animals stuff like this street photography i think this camera works out really really nicely all right so let's talk about the things that i do like about this camera and the first thing is this thing has a massive 61 megapixel full frame sensor inside of it and it produces some really really beautiful images i absolutely love that this thing is full frame with a very high resolution sensor next you also have an extraordinarily small body that's right this camera is tiny now you can build it up so that it's a little bit bigger by adding a viewfinder and some other uh, hand grip and some other stuff on here but if you take it at its bare minimum this camera is just small now that brings me to the next point that i like about this camera and that is it's sort of like a build your own camera you can add different parts on the camera or you can take it and strip it down all the way to the bare minimum so whichever you like if you want to add a hand grip you can do that if you want to add a uh, the eyepiece on there, the viewfinder, you could do that. You could add or take away so that you have a camera that's fully built out or very minimalist. All right, well, there are some of my likes and dislikes about the camera, but what you really want to see are the pictures so that you can judge for yourself what this thing can do. So let's go look at some photos and I'll show you the kind of images that this camera can produce.
Now, as I'm out here shooting, one thing that I recognize about this camera is that it doesn't have much of a buffer. When you're shooting at the very highest resolution, when you're shooting at 61 megapixels, shooting RAW plus JPEG, you're only gonna get about nine shots before you fill up the buffer and it fills up really quickly. And I will say, it does clear the buffer pretty quickly, but those nine shots just don't seem like they're always enough. I really wish it was about double at least for that buffer because I'm shooting on medium as far as the motor. If I set it at the, uh, if I set it at high, so I was shooting at really high speed, at the really high speed motor, I'd fill that buffer up in about a second. And I really wish that I was able to shoot a little bit longer and get a few more shots in before that buffer filled up. But at least the camera clears that buffer really, really quickly. Well, we were able to get some cool shots here at the Maryland Zoo. And I think we have just enough time that we can drive out and make it to the uh, Smithsonian National Zoo and get a few shots there before we call it a day. So let's head out over there, see if we can get a couple of good shots. And then I'll head on home and wrap it up and tell you my final thoughts about this camera and this lens combo. Well, I am back now and I've had a few days to go over the images and see how the files really held up. And I have to say, I'm impressed. This little camera is absolutely fantastic. Now it has its shortcomings, but image quality is definitely not one of them. You really can create some really amazing, stunning photographs with this camera. Now, Every photo that I shot in this video was shot with the Sigma 100 to 150 uh, lens, except for that very last image with the people walking out of the zoo. That was shot with the 45 to 8 on here. So now that is another thing. This little kit right here, this little setup, I think is perfect for street photography. And Sigma also sent me the 28 to 70 to 8. So I'm gonna take that lens and this lens and go do some street photography for my next video. So if you're interested in that, definitely come and check that out. So anyways, I'm gonna leave links to, uh, to the camera, to the lens, to everything down below in the video description so that you can check it all out. And I'm gonna leave links to my social media contacts and uh, you know, you can reach me elsewhere and say hello or ask me any questions about this gear or any other uh, products or services or anything that you wanna ask me and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.